Hi, I'm Stephen Patterson, and I'm the general manager here at Matisse Derivat, and this is where we make Australia's finest artist colours and mediums. Come in and I'll take you on a tour of the factory. Acrylics were first invented in the early 1900s and became commercially available to artists in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Vinyl Derivan, or as it was known then, Vinyl Paints, commenced business in 1964 and was Australia's first acrylic artist manufacturer. Many of our products have been developed in response to customers' demands for safer, more environmentally sound alternatives to their traditional artist materials. For instance, the Derivan Block printing ink is totally water-based, does not contain solvents or oils and can be washed up in water easily. Unlike other silk screen printing inks, the Derivan silk screen printing ink for fabric is totally water-based and contains no harmful solvents. This is where it all starts, in the laboratories, where the chemists formulate and test the paint. When developing a new colour, the chemists will create a formula, experimenting with small batches of paint using the lab mixer. Then they will upscale this formula for making bulk batches of paint, once this paint undergoes rigorous testing. And then the formula will become part of a quality assurance program to ensure you buy the same colour and the same quality every time. This is where the paint is made. It's called a bay. The pigments are first taken and ground and this is done in the mill. Once the pigments have been ground down and dispersed properly, they are then dispersed in what we call a high speed disperser or cavitation mixer. We have a quality assurance program in place to make sure that every time you buy one of our products you are guaranteed of having 100% satisfaction. Once the paint is made we do a drawdown and a pH test and a couple of other tests to check the quality assurance. Once the paint has passed all these checks it is then taken outside covered with plastic and it is ready to be poured. All the machinery that we use is stainless steel or nylon. And look, aren't the barrels clean on the inside? Now we know how to make the paint, let's see how we fill the tubes. At Matisse Derivan, we overprint the labels with barcodes, the name of the paint, and also a batch number so that we can track every batch of paint. For our Matisse flow and structure formulas, as well as our Derivan artist range in the 75mm, a sample of the actual paint is applied to the label by hand. This is where we store all our labels after they've been printed. Now that the labels have all been printed and are ready for use, we need to get them onto the tubes. We have our tubes locally made and we apply the labels to the outside of these with the labelling machine. You will notice that the tubes already have the cap applied and are actually open at what will become the crimped end after filling. The labels are loaded in this area while the tubes are stacked ready for labelling on the conveyor belt. Once the labels are applied, the tubes are ready to be filled. We have several machines we use for filling tubes and indeed jars. One of our oldest but most reliable filling machines is an Arenko. It's over a quarter of a century old, however it has filled well over 30 million tubes for us. As you can see, we place the tubes capped down and as they pass under this nozzle, they are filled. They then progress around the machine to the crimping section and are taken up and with the use of heat, the ends are crimped and sealed and also a batch code is applied. Here is another tube filling machine. As you can see, our products are still made very much by hand. On this machine, the structure tubes, or the aluminium tubes, are crimped via a method of folding. We also fill the paint on this machine. And this tube filling machine fills in much the same way as the other machines, however it has an ultrasonic sealer which will seal both laminate tubes and plastic tubes. 
For larger bottles, we use this filling machine. Once the tubes or jars are labelled, they need to be packaged. For packaging our products into clamshells and boxes, we employ a range of staff from Network Job Services. This is a semi-government organisation that helps to place mentally disabled people into jobs. As you can see, they work hard and are very enthusiastic. Apart from getting stock into boxes, they are also responsible for shrink wrapping some of the products. Once boxed, our products are stored in our warehouse ready for orders. We receive orders by phone, fax and email. These orders are processed and then sent down to the factory. Dispatch staff then pick and pack the order and then they send it off. We aim to have our orders out within 24 hours of receipt or a maximum of 48 hours. It's been fun having you with us. Thank you very much for coming on the tour of the factory. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, on the third Saturday of October, every year we have our open day and everyone's welcome. I hope to see you there.